Hello Capricorn, welcome back to my channel y'all. How are you? It's so good to have you guys back. I am so happy to have you here. This is going to be your mid-month uh, love in general. I just want to go ahead and say I am so sorry I did not get to your reading the beginning of the month, but we are going to go ahead and do a bonus video to make up for it okay so i hope you guys are doing well for those of you who are new to my channel welcome in you guys i am a psychic medium i do read tarot intuitively i start with the channeled message and then i move on to the description of the cards i am clairvoyant i am clairaudience i am a medium i do offer mediumship based readings you guys those are all priced a little bit differently okay i have all that information down below to uh, book a personal currently i am focusing a little bit more on my emailed based readings so let me know if that is of interest. I do have an email down below and also direct messaging on Instagram. For those of you who are interested, I am holding a Reiki healing giveaway session um, on my Insta. And um, I really want you guys to be a part of it. I think everybody should be a part of some healing at some point. It's really important. Um, and also one clairvoyant pull for any card, any question you might have. So if that's something you are interested in, feel free to check me out. Yes. So if you guys are feeling generous, please go ahead and donate to the channel. Please continue to keep supporting, like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much for those of you who already have. I appreciate you so, so, so much. Please continue to share my content, y'all. All right, let's jump in. Capricorn, what do I see going on for you? Um, October 15th through the 31st, we have Firefly. We have Illumination. Wow, how beautiful is that? So, you know, instant, you guys, I am getting a lot of solar plexus energy. It's almost like you guys are really feeling empowered at the end of the month. I am getting um, an energy around wanting to change a path, wanting to change a method. Some of you guys are trying to repair something at the end of the month. I'm having a vision of repairs. So you could be focusing on repairing a specific career that you had in mind. Some of you guys are deciding to reconnect with a different path that maybe you left behind a long time ago and you want to reconnect with this, okay? We do have creativity and vitality in reverse. There's an illumination here of a project that maybe you guys left behind thinking it wasn't going to serve you, but guess what, Capricorn? It is absolutely going to serve you. Um, whatever project this is, it's definitely... Um, I'm hearing divinely guided. For some of you, it's working with children. For others, I feel it's working in a structured environment where you are putting pieces together. A lot of you guys may be even drawn to uh, crafting, arts and crafts. There's something around your hands, you guys. There's almost like an illumination of a strength of working with your hands. Some of you guys are amazing healers and you need to tap into this gift, okay? Um, or if you already have and you're curious about your spirit, spirituality. I am here to say, yes, this is a good time to do it. Focus on expanding your already existing gifts. Okay. We have speak the truth at all times. Okay. So this is about expressing your personal journey. Capricorn, a lot of you guys are great public speakers and I am getting that some of you, I'm hearing a seminar or a webinar around the 24th. You are going to be invited. There is an opportunity here to speak. Okay. Um, you're speaking your craft or you're going to be speaking something into existence. Okay. So I am getting a lot of you really, um, just really focusing on making your presence known in public one way or another. You really want to stand out, okay? I'm also getting a lot of hard work. Please make sure you are resting. Create a sacred space. Make sure you're giving yourself enough time. But I'm hearing uh, my eye is on the prize. Please do not listen, Capricorn, my love. Some of you guys are trying to numb yourself through overworking. Please be aware if you are overworking, do not overdo. Um, 
the situation with work at the end of the month, but you guys are really coming into some serious, serious abundance, the 24th through the 31st. Okay, so let's see what's going on. Um, Some of you guys recently, we do have uh, the Six of Cups here. Some of you guys recently encountered a situation where you felt as if someone dropped off, like they they stopped working on a project with you. Um, you feel almost uh, betrayed or there's something about a person that you trusted with work, okay? This person, they did not fulfill their obligations. And I am getting some sadness and disappointment about disconnecting from this person, this job, or this situation. For other Others, I feel like you are moving into a great expanded uh, mindset. It's like I'm hearing expansion, like you're really looking at the things that you used to love and you are trying to create um, like your own business out of maybe some childhood memories, something you always wanted to do. It's like you're holding space for your inner child and you really want to create abundance from the things that you love. For some of you, this is about drawing or uh, I, I don't know for some I'm hearing anime or something about art and creativity and drawing so a lot of you are going to feel incredibly inspired to start this um, new project okay so let's go ahead and see what else is going on for you Capricorn general energies. So I'm having a vision of a rotating diamond. So again, the focus is going to be on elevating your status and really focusing on the major things that you love in life. So the six of cups is all about the inner child energy of what you want to do living in the past as well. Some of you are feeling very stagnant right now because you need to let something go. I don't know why I'm hearing holding grudges. Some of you guys are upset that something did not work out in terms of your financial endeavors or your career, or this really involves maybe a collaboration, um, attempting to work with somebody. So it, it's like you have to go back to the drawing board, but I want you to know that this is a perfect time to um, review and, and plan ahead because this is your moment of rise where you're going to do something on your own. You're completely destroying an idea an ideal and you're regenerating everything um, you thought you wanted but you have to let go of the past okay at the end of the month you guys are heavily heavily living in the past so maybe there's a business here or a, an endeavor where you're constantly feeling as if I wish I would have done something different so you know really stay in the present you guys I am getting a lot of um Look at your growth. It's like you guys are staring at these patches of dead, um, dead weeds, like empty, empty land. But behind you, Capricorn, you have abundance flowing. Like I'm having a vision of palm trees growing very, very big, big, big uh, levels of wealth and success. But where is your perspective? I'm almost getting this is about your perspective. Where are you focusing your attention on? Okay, we have the six of wands. So again, a lot of success. Once you are able to release whatever your hang up is in terms of your past, you are going to step into some serious power. I'm hearing I didn't get the um, I didn't get the uh, the promotion. So some of you guys are still kind of living in a space where you wanted a promotion, you wanted something to work out and it did not. But you know, maybe someone else got it and you feel like it's unfair. Either way, you are going to be focusing on some major success at the end of the month. So let bygones be bygones, Capricorn. Okay, money ain't no thing. I'm hearing money ain't no thing, honey. Okay. So one more and then we'll jump into um, love. So 
I, I'm getting a stress around something isn't working in your life, Capricorn. Something is not working in your life and it's causing you a lot of stress. You feel um, backed up into a wall or there's a level of feeling um, confused. A lot of things maybe are not shifting in your favor. This could be about you know your emotions. This could be about your wealth. This could be about just living in a moment where you wish you would have stayed with a specific job or you wish you would have done something different but you moved for a reason okay the the universe doesn't move you when you're not ready trust me everything is divine timing capricorn we have the death card here again let go i don't know why i'm feeling a lot of stress are you guys not feeling um incredibly powerful successful capable because you are you really are but if you're living in a place of not being able to let go of the emotional um, baggage or the pain you guys are going to cause some serious blockages for yourself this is about the law of attraction capricorn your mindset where you're at for your future this is the time to think abundantly okay really set your intentions every morning and night okay let's talk about love okay Capricorn in love. I'm hearing red flags. Okay, wow. Red flags. So some of you guys are, um, you're in a cycle with somebody and I feel like you're in a cycle with a Sag Leo Aries at the end of the month and something about this is causing some stress or it's triggering you. Something about this, I feel it's triggering you. I'm hearing a scapegoat. So this person is trying to actively come in and out of your life. And I feel like they're using this connection as the way to escape from their current responsibilities. I want you guys to understand where your boundaries are in this connection. This person is constantly um, back and forth or they're testing the waters. And, you know, I'm getting a lot of... Um, I'm hearing resistance to change. It's almost like this person is causing a huge tsunami with their emotions. This could also be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. We have the three of cups. Okay, so there's a lot of dating, but you guys do have some conflict around an ex. There is an ex here who keeps coming back into the future and I feel like they're gonna come back one more time is what I'm getting at the end of the month. We have the six of cups. This person is not um, self-aware, you guys. This person is not really aware of the kind of drama that they're bringing in because all they're used to is their own trauma and their own drama. So we have the world here, the cosmos. Um, what's going on with you, Capricorn? And so I'm feeling like there's a lot of push-pull. A lot of you guys with the Ace of Wands, you guys want a new beginning, okay? There is a um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Some of you have a water or a fire sign, okay? One or the other. Someone here is the karmic and someone here is your divine feminine, or a divine masculine. But either way, I'm getting a lot of drama. Like the minute you pull away from this connection, the minute you disconnect yourself and you're ready to celebrate your success, you're really ready to start dating again, you're ready to, you know, disconnect from um, the dead weight. Like I'm getting that you guys are feeling very frustrated. I'm channeling your energy. There's a lot of going back to the past. Maybe you guys are still in this connection or maybe this person just knows how to pull you back in. This water sign keeps pulling pulling you back in. It could be a fire as well. But there's too much of tugging on your heart, like constantly wanting to restrict you from certain things. We do have the world and the cosmos. We have the ace of wands. So this is about new beginnings. You guys are trying to clear the past and you're ready for something brand new. You want a new beginning. It could be with a fire sign as well. You have completed a cycle and now you are starting a new cycle at the end of the month. Okay. So be aware of what, you know, you know, what saying is coming to mind, Capricorn, what you allow will persist. What you allow will continue to exist. So this is about your own um, level up. And this is also about how you establish your own boundaries around your relationships as well and your connections. Um, 
Capricorn, there is an enormous amount of energy, a lot of sexual energy, a new invitation around, I'm hearing a Sagittarius. For some, this is a Virgo. Uh, for others, this is a Libra or an Aquarius, but this is new energy. I'm getting some of you are meeting someone at a, we have the Knight of Pentacles at a um, dinner party or there's some kind of networking here, like people know um, maybe they're hooking you up with this person, but I'm getting like, wow, this intensity of like love at first sight, but it feels very lustful. So, you know, the best advice I can give you is to move slow. You guys are really in a place where you're trying to move steady. You want to be steady in love. And I feel like a lot of you guys are really willing um, to start taking on a new path in love and you're ready to invest slow and steady into something very meaningful. Okay. So Capricorn in love. Some of you guys cannot keep your eyes off of Scorpio. I have to say, water signs are really prominent here. So I don't know what you got going on with, with the Scorpio, but there's a lot of sexual energy coming through. Some of you guys just want to make peace with this person, with the water sign. I'm getting a lot of pushing, pulling. So be aware if there's any kind of spell work here. There could be some spell work around um, like an amare or like a binding on somebody because this feels almost, I don't want to say artificial but it feels like the chemistry is good like I feel like the chemistry is natural but the fact that you keep getting pulled in by this person doesn't feel too natural so something here is um it's almost like I'm getting a little bit of this artist seduction energy. Like this person just knows how to master your emotions or they know how to manipulate you. Okay. So be aware of that. We have the seven of wands and at the end of the month, a lot of you are looking to kind of defend your territory or defend your position. You know what it is that you want and you're not going to let other people stand in the middle of you trying to find new love. A lot of you guys have chosen to disconnect from a third party and this was like the best thing you could have ever done, but it almost feels like this third party has now pulled you back in and I'm getting a lot of saltiness around this energy. Someone here is salty about you disconnecting, okay, because maybe you heard about a third party affair. There was a lot of, um, you know, kind of being in the middle of something and you no longer want to do that, okay? For others, I feel like you are just in a place where you want to start new, you're ready to invest in somebody um, full time and vice versa. The person that you are meeting at the end of the month or if you are dealing with a, um, an Aries specifically, there's a lot of passion here and there's a lot of determination to get this connection off the ground slow and steady. You do not want to be in a conflict anymore. I'm getting a lot of you are deciding to cut you, you're ready to cut this water sign off you're like you know what I don't want to do this anymore and I'm not going to let myself get manipulated I don't know why I'm getting this person is really really tugging at you in a way where it's like you're feeling exhausted Capricorn a lot of you guys are feeling very very exhausted okay so I hope that helped and um, let's go ahead and get one more actually on the advice. Let's see what your advice is, Capricorn. Wow. You guys, your end of your month, like I, I'm getting a lot of like you are forcing a situation to end because someone here is not trying to let you go. They are completely latched on to the idea of you or whatever it is that you are offering this person, Capricorn. They are so hooked on what you're bringing to the table. So be aware of that. So what is the outcome for Capricorn? Um, the Hierophant. Okay, so yes, a lot of you guys are going to focus on your own spiritual beliefs, your values, your tradition, your religion. You want marriage. Some of you guys are saying, listen, we're either going to get married and do this right or we're not at all because you're not with it. I'm getting a fixation on your own standard and your own value. Okay, you have to be very in your power when it comes to this because I do feel people are trying to cross your boundaries or a lot of you guys are going to be focused on specific traditions and norms and you are willing to date within your own desires and um religious pursuits is what I'm getting, or even just your, your spiritual values. You do not want to bend on your own morality. And your advice is 
to not bend. This is a good time to really honor your sacred feminine or your sacred masculine and hold your beliefs in honor because there is nothing wrong with wanting a commitment. I think you guys are just ready to take a leap of faith, okay? Thank you so much, my loves. Talk soon. Bye.